law, JJ. The law is a law, and we took an oath to uphold it, whether we agree with it or not. Look, I'm, I'm mad, and uh, I'm worried about Haley. Look, I didn't mean to take it out on you guys. It's just, she's not as strong as she seems. If she gets deported, I'm afraid of what I might do to her. We don't know for sure that she'll be deported. The best thing she could do right now, JJ, is turn herself in. Her sister is an experienced lawyer. Maybe she can find a way out of it. Melinda's only out for herself. You guys know how she is. Haley's on her own now. You know, I'm not an immigration lawyer, but I think there's a case to be made for allowing you to stay in this country. You're not just saying that? No, you are an excellent nurse. There must be some sort of visa you can get to continue to work here. Yeah, I researched that, and, and back in the day, maybe you'd be right, but the way people feel about immigrants now, I don't think I'm going to get a break. You know, um, I'm Irish on both sides. My ancestors came to this country, I'm sure, just the way that you did. They had to put up with a lot of, of hardship and prejudice. But they didn't give up. You can't give up. Please, don't quit this job. You have patients who need you. You really think I should stay? Well, can you do it? If you're behind me. Okay, I'll talk to the administration, see what we can do to have you stay here. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. I... I'm so sorry about what I said to you about JJ. Um, you know what? I think JJ feels as betrayed as you do. By his own father. Gosh, you put the door on the stairs. Mm. Mm. Oh, come mm. on. All right. <sighs> pleased with yourself. You've tanked my campaign. You knew your sister was here illegally. You tanked your own campaign. You think that the law doesn't apply to you, right? There are so many things the two of you don't understand about why I kept Haley's status private. But none of that matters. I just spoke with the head of the party. They're cutting me loose. Without their backing, there's no way I can beat Mayor Carver. I assume it's only a matter of time before you announce your candidacy. I never thought I'd be casting a vote for Mayor Carver, but talk about the lesser of two evils. You know, Jack, she is right about one thing. We have to beat the deadline on the filing. We have to draw up a petition and get as many signatures as possible. Slow down, slow down, slow down. No, 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 no. Abe has the momentum after last night. We have to make a case to the people of Salem that they deserve more than the same old, same old, and that... Is you, Jack Demirella? I'm looking up the number. I'm gonna call campaign headquarters. That is, unless you tell me otherwise. Well, I'm so glad that you feel that way, Bob. Yes, yes. Well, it was great talking to you too. Okay. Campaign headquarters has been inundated with phone calls saying that Melinda Trask is nothing but a liar and you were a brave man to confront her. And my new friend Bob really wants to meet me, which means they want you to run. You sure about that? Yes, I mean, after you have exposed Melinda Trask's big secret, you're in a position to make.